typically is the first type of long-term care benefits that's paid, and are there any common disputes about reimbursement or payment for this care? Now, you or a family member may have purchased a long-term health care policy to provide reimbursement or to make payment for the assistance with activities of daily living, bathing, dressing, toileting, transferring, cooking, those sorts of things. I find that there are five uh, medical conditions that create this need for care. It can be cancer, it can be musculoskeletal disorders, it can be cognitive issues such as Alzheimer's or strokes, it can be a brain injury, it can be cardiovascular issues. There is commonly a progression, as I see it, of care in these types of cases. Obviously, it depends on the health of the policyholder, but as the policyholder's medical condition worsens over time, the need for the care and the location of the care will change. That creates the opportunity for disputes with a long-term uh, care provider. There might be a fight about the nature of the care, the location of the care, the qualities of the uh, qualifications of the facilities, the qualifications of the providers. But I will tell you that typically what we see at the first level of care, and this is also according to the American Association of Long-Term Care Insurance, 73% of long-term uh, care claims are for home care. Only 18% are for assisted living and 9% are just for nursing care. So you can see that this dispute potentially is going to immediately arise when someone needs home care. Each situation is unique. You or your family member's medical condition is unique. What they need is unique. But let me give you an example. Let's say you, you or a loved one has a stroke. Well, you could probably start out at a nursing home, move to an assistant living facility, and then you move home to for home services. Or it could be the other way around. But regardless of which way it goes, more often than not, there are going to be disputes that arise with a long-term health care company regarding the provision of those benefits. In other words, the need for the benefits, the location uh, where, of where these benefits are going to be provided, the qualifications of the facility, the qualifications of the providers. These carriers are not necessarily in the business of compensating or reimbursing for the provision of the very benefits that they promise to provide in their policy. And some of the common <coughs> disputes, as I've outlined, um, include some basic things, uh, including do you even qualify? Uh, what's the nature of the services? Who's going to provide them? Where are they going to be provided? Is there a cost of living adjustment? How long do you have to, to uh, go under an elimination period where you have to pay these benefits out of your own pocket before the policy uh, kicks in. These are just some of the disputes I see. And if any of these are happening to you uh, or you have any questions about what the terms of the policy are and what you should be getting, if your benefits aren't being paid or the bills aren't being paid, call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. We want to make sure that the long-term health care provider is living up to the benefits or to the promises that they made when you purchased or your family member purchased this policy. 727-894-3188.